Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna just touch up my makeup. I've been out all day. Tell me why everybody and their mama want to spin back into my life. Like, and then the one, the one boy I want, want to act brand new. I literally just want this one man, this one specific man. But sometimes we don't get what we want. Should we see if he answers me? No, let me stop. When this man was my man, I was happy, girl. Not saying like a man dictates my happiness, but damn, I'm up. It plays a big part. He probably gonna watch this one day and just be like, this bitch is delusional. I am stink, so come back. Look at the basket I made him when I went there though. I can't even eat Reese's. <laughs> I was showing the basket I made for him. And I put Reese's in that motherfucker because it's his favorite. I can't even eat Reese's. That's insane. She probably would have said, you can't eat that in my house. Yeah. Tell me, I was like, don't eat those right now. <laughs> Not you wearing my boxers. Uh -huh, I always look good in them, don't they? No, <laughs> never in a million years would I think I'd say that. Run. Ew. Ooh. I didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all, get ready with me today. Is tragedy. August 8th. Yeah, I'm bar tonight. Okay. Um, I was talking to Shorty the, the other day. Cause like nobody really talks to her. Because it's like all the pretty bitches don't get talked to. Mm-hmm. Everyone's like, mm -hmm. right? Thank Everyone's you. so stank face. Yeah. She was like, no girl, I'm just delusional as fuck. So I was like, mm -hmm. I met my match. Mm -hmm. I was like, yes, bitch. She was like, yeah, I was talking to this one athlete. And then, yeah, we were just talking about how we're delusional and how like we're always stuck in that phase, but it's not that phase and it's that phase. And you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Remember we were sitting in the booth before one time and she was like behind us and you were like, mm, I don't like that girl. Oh yeah, that weird you're ass bitch. You're a stink ass bitch. <laughs> Why is it shaking? Earthquake. Like, it was just the fucking phone. Little booties matter though. Yes, Jeez, bitches. Home. Yes. <laughs> Wait, I was gonna say let's pray, but uh, let's give it a second to relax. Hold on. Lord, thank you for this food, thank you for this job, thank you for this breakfast, thank you for the love, thank you for the hate, thank you for the enemies, thank you for the friends, thank you for the family. Thank you for everything, for protection, keep us safe, and keep us speaking through us to other people who need it. Also, for those who don't have pure heart and are haters, I pray that you put purity in your heart. In Jesus name we pray, amen. 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 I hope that you guide the um, you guide whoever is stealing to return all the objects <laughs> that they have stolen here at this place. Amen. <laughs> no, literally. Because that girl's about to get smacked in the parking lot. Hashtag vlog. <laughs> Drive with me, hoes. Now I'm going to get Starbucks. Yay! I need to get my teeth done. I want to get my teeth done. If you guys know, I used to have braces. If you've been an OG follower, I had braces. I had a retainer, but I lost the retainer after I found the retainer. <laughs> and I went to work with it. And I put it in a napkin like a dummy. And one of the girls or one of the staff members threw it out. Totally my fault because it's in a napkin. That's what happened. And it was a very, very sad day because now my teeth look like freaking Mount Kilimanjaro. I swear, if I see another Hawkeye's plate, I'm going to be irritated. Like, I'm getting irritated. Okay, y'all, I just got home from work. <sighs> and today has just been hard. Everything in my head is telling me like get over it bitch. We're tired of fucking hearing about it I'm tired of thinking about it, but like literally I can't today I think this is a very important topic to address on here. I texted my friend Nigel about this the other day, but Basically when you're going through something especially men out there you feel like you can't be emotional you know, or me, I'm very hard-headed and I'm very uh, everything happens for a reason type of person. I feel that I contradict 
that statement when I'm sad or when I show my emotion or when I cry. I feel guilty almost. I have like a guilty conscience when I feel that I should be over a topic, but I'm just not. And I think it's important to just know you're not gonna get through every obstacle the same exact way. It's just not supposed to be like that. Not everything is perfect like that. Just because you got over the last person within two days doesn't mean you're gonna get over this person within two days. It's just not how it's supposed to be. And for me, I'm a very like hard, committed person. And when I put my heart into something, I put my heart into it. Like I, I drop everything and I put my heart into it. And I think that's why it's so hard for me to get over things that aren't even that deep. You know what I'm saying? It's hard for me to sit here and just, you know, step over to obstacle or step over to heartbreak. Like, okay, that's cool. It's happened before. It'll happen again. It's hard for me to do that. As much as I know that I'm gonna get through it, I still need to give myself that time to cope. I need to do things that I need to do to cope. If I need to post TikToks to make me feel better and get me over a situation, I'm gonna do it. If I need to cry in my pillow for 15 hours straight and then take a two hour nap with puffy eyes when I wake up, then I'm gonna do it. And I think it's okay to be that type of human. We, like, especially with society and social media, I know a lot of people on here even are gonna tell me that I'm weak or ah, you shouldn't be crying, it's not that deep, blah, 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 you're crazy or delusional, blah, 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 whatever. I don't care, think what you wanna think. I know in my heart that my intentions are just pure and that's why my pain is so pure and that's why being let down hurts me a little bit more than maybe the average person because I overextend my heart and my hand and when it's not appreciated or not reciprocated, it fucking hurts. But anyways, what I was trying to say is, it's okay to cry. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to be mad. It's okay. But pick yourself up. Like, I'm at that stage where I literally have to cry about this situation to get the fuck over it. That's how I work. I have to hit rock bottom to rise above. It's okay to be emotional. It's okay to not be okay. As long as you find the strength to get up. And that's what I wanted to say. Anyways, I just needed to say that on here because it's on my mind and I, I literally was driving home and I saw another freaking license plate and it threw me back. And I was just like, what? God, like what? You know, like I, I'm getting irritated. And then I was talking to myself and I'm like, why? I kept asking myself why? And I just, I know a lot of people do it. It's a human, human nature thing, but stop asking yourself why. Stop trying to figure out why things happen. Let's, let's talk about that. God has a plan. Everything happens for a reason. The Lord is your map and your directions through life. The amount of faith you put in the Lord is how much direction he's going to give you. So stop looking for the reason. Just trust that there is one. Anyways, now that I gave myself a motivational talk, that's what I needed. Ashwagandha. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Brown or bad. Could have changed my mind. I was halfway there. I'm back in the car, vroom vroom. Um, nighttime. Oh, I'll get copyrighted, turn us off. Still fucking with that same ass. I know you wanna break, I know you wanna break from Toronto. Y'all see though, the vibes. The vibes is vibing. Look at the sky, okay, ignore the crack windshield. But look at the sky. How the video games look. This is GTA, the GTA point of view. Dun 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 dun. Bookie dookie tookie do, Junior. See ya. My mom got me this bag for our trip. Jump on it. Oh my god, did they give us? Wee! Everything's coming together. Oh, this is so you just need to fucking do your laundry and then everything's done. Fuck off. He's mine. I am his. Currently 10:40. I have to film this video, make breakfast, pack, run to the mall, go to class, come back home, freshen up, go to this reservation that I have, and then go out. And then 
fly out in the morning at like 3 a.m. Life's great. Oh. Hey, bitch. Don't come in my room for a second. Me and Raymond go on our first ever traveling business trip together. I'm bringing him to a Red Bull event with me. So I got him a little goodie bag. So yeah, hold on. It's so cute. I got him this jacket to wear. Here's to our first business trip together. <laughs> That's cute. Booga butt. Booga butt. One. You've been hit by. You've been stopped by. Smooth criminal. Loki, okay, I need to put that curling product in my hair. Shit again, we're gonna have to do the spot here. Yeah. I'm, not doing... I'm not doing that. It is a virgin pina colada. Between two people. Yeah. And I'm honestly gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Um, oh, I know these are cute. Okay. Right here. Our flight's delayed. We wow, are two hours away. Shout out to Spray Ground. For Shout the out bags. to bro, literally all of our bags this trip are Spray Ground. Um, so if you're not shopping with them, I don't know what you're doing. But it never gave Telfar. It always gave Spray Ground. <laughs> Clothes, rip me out the plastic. Rip me out the plastic, I've been acting brand new. Bitches acting like they run the shit they really ran through. I spent a hundred, five hundred, bitch, a no. bug. Spent a five hundred before I ever trap you. There you go. They thought I was gonna fall off, I, I hate to bring you bad, bad news. Hey, there's so, so many, many racks up, bitch, can't even see the flow. From, from my nana to the lady, only time back, back and forth. Rich. Cheap. Oh, rich. Drop oh, the bendy to belly, <laughs> let that drop the boat. Shh, be quiet. Let me pop off. You can tell us off and drop the boat and drop my I'm gonna go like Breeze. She thought I was gonna say she must have took her meds. She didn't want my cuss on arm and leg. Set for life and let her get me pregnant. I done done it all. Feel like shoddy low. Let's get to the van. This shit is not a joke. Since she got a problem, imaginary smoke. Bitches said it's stuff that put it on the floor. Hey, I done done it all. Feel like shoddy low. Let's get to the van. It is not a joke. 